and shall be expunged from the Hansard. The Honorable Buteles. It is the only last hope. But I mean, is that really the kind of election tactic you want to go with? We're your last hope. All other hope is gone. We're the last port of call before disaster. That sounds a bit pessimistic. No, 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 no. Um, that is a, a description of the current conditions of pessimism. That, that's where we are. We are in a situation of the last hope. It's true. We are between South Africa and an endless abyss. That is the reality. But how do we buy the fact that he was part of that unit, was involved in lobbying against Thabo Mbeki, and is now with the EFF? How do we know that the leopard has changed its spots? The person that changed is not Julius Malema. The person that changed is President Zuma, and you are therefore free to say, I don't support you anymore. Why? Because you changed. And he did. There's no party anymore. It's just supporters of Jacob Zuma. You know, I favor KZ Chiefs. It loses or wins, I favor it. But what talking government here, what talking decisions that have implications on the livelihoods of people, the color of their skin is white. And they own it precisely because they created a world on the basis of the color of the skin. They structured a world on the basis of people's pigmentation, texture of the hair, and genetic history. And so that claim is still the case. South Africa's large share of the economy belongs to the colonial and apartheid definition of the people we call white. You're proposing that you develop jobs for people through an agrarian economy. You've got to go on an aggressive agrarian reform, which begins okay. with a simple proposition. Let us feed ourselves. Let all the retail stores, hospitals, prisons, schools buy food firstly locally. That's going to increase our productive capacities. We'll go to parliament, present legislation. People will still have an opportunity to debate. We'll use the majority to make sure that we bring as much of everyone on the board as possible and we expropriate without compensation for equal redistribution. That's the beginning, the alpha and omega of ownership is the land. You are not a legitimate president, bye-bye. We cannot participate in the legitimacy of Zuma because we don't believe that he's a president anymore. And we believe it's an effective strategy of boycott. We're going to boycott the whole sauna because Zuma cannot be given the respect and the honor when he has violated the Constitution.